Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and today I want to talk a little bit about polarizing your generator, polarizing your dynamo, from your TC, TD, TF, MGA, early MGB, or midget. Now there are three components in the charging system, the generator, the control box, and the wiring. Any one of which, any portion of which, when it fails, can cause the, cause the car not to charge. Let's take a look at this. Danny's going to come around and take a look at our, our, uh, our battery. The battery with this clamps, our control box here, which most people call the voltage regulator. However, it does include a, a, uh, the cutout in it also. I want to show you that you can uh, use your, your 12 volt test light as, as the ignition light if you go between the hot side of the battery and D on the on the control box. So here's our ignition warning light and if we start our car up we'll see that the ignition warning light goes out. Well if I can start the car yeah. you see that the light is out take the lead off the battery, you can see it continues to run. If we turn our headlights on, the headlights are on right now, it still continues to run. That means that the charging system is working. But let's say the charging system isn't working. Now I'm just going to pull a wire off the back of the generator so that the charging system doesn't work and show you what happens here. Here we've got our ignition warning light here and I'll start the car up. We still have our headlights on. The light stays on. And if we take the lead off the battery, it kills, which means it isn't working. Now you can test this whole system very easily, but the first step is always to polarize the generator. I'm going to turn the lights off here. So polarizing the generator is simply coming down between A and F and sparking it with, with your screwdriver. There. Sparking it. That's all there is to it. Spark, spark. Now the generator is going to make electricity in conformity with the ground of the of the battery, whether you've got it hooked up positive ground or negative ground. And the rule is anytime you take the generator off the car, anytime you take the battery out of the car and put it back in, just polarize it just to make sure that the generator is going to make electricity in conformity with the with the uh, with the battery. If you get it hooked up backwards, if this is if the generator is putting out positive earth and the generator is putting out negative earth then when the contact points close inside here uh, you're going to get a, a dead short of 24 volts. Now usually that o overpowers the generator, makes the generator um, start producing correctly just as we've done here, but sometimes it burns out the control box. So if you want to check your generator to see if it's working, because again there are three s systems here, what we do is take off our, our uh, lead off our F, our F wire, take our F wire off here, and we take the heavier of the two wires off the D. We've got these guys. We'll start. We'll start our car up. The fact that they sparked right there, the fact that they sparked, means that the generator and the wiring up to the control box is good. So if your generator is not working, you do the, the first thing you do is polarize it to make sure that you're making electricity in conformity with the, with the battery. Secondly, you take these wires loose, touch them together, and break them, and it should look like the, a miniature 4th of July that will tell you that your generator is working. If it doesn't spark, the generator is not working, so you've got to take the generator off, change the brushes or the armature, whatever's wrong with that. If the generator is working and 
the um, it still isn't charging your ignition light staying on and if you take the, the lead off here it kills indicating it's not charging then the problem lies in the control box but there can be two things wrong it can be the generator and the control box so I don't want to make electric seem too complicated a lot of people get very very confused but remember that polarizing the generator is nothing more than sparking between A and F just to polarize it and you can check your generator to see if it's working by pulling the lead off the battery and it should remain running with the headlights on as long as you're up over 1500 RPM or so and if you want to use a, a test light, a warning light to see what your ignition light is actually doing you can go between the hot lead and the D lead here and, and the, uh, the light will come on just as it would if you turned the key on in the dash. I hope this has been a little bit helpful, at least to John who called me this morning and wanted to know about polarizing his generator. Thanks for all your notes and comments and the nice comments on, on uh, MGB experience. I do read those. And if you want to see something else that we haven't already put up, give us a, uh, an email. Remember, it's fall, we're desperate for business, send something, send us your generator, send us your, ah, we don't fix control boxes, we do fix the nine post ones from the TCs, but not the five posters. Anyway, thanks so much, see you guys tomorrow.